Hey beautiful family, dysfunctional family, welcome back to another video. Hey, how are you? Hopefully you are great. Hope you're having the best time of your life, whatever it is you're doing. I hope that you are in a great place, great spirits. My spirits are, how high can I take them? They're extremely high. My spirits are extremely high right now. I feel amazing, okay? Um, I'm actually in route two. Okay, see these grandkids, right? These grandkids, okay? First off, first off, I just did Charlie, okay? Now, here comes my oldest grandson's birthday is tomorrow. And I just got a text message of all the things to choose from that he likes or wants, rather. So I go on to the Target uh, website to see, you know, what I'm working with. How are you seven wanting all this expensive stuff? Okay. I don't know where the kids, the grandkids got it in their head that I'm rich. But I'm going to need them to get a whole full reality check because, listen, bro, you might come out of here with a pair of socks. Okay. I'm looking at the prices on this stuff. It ain't nothing on his list less than $45. Nothing. You're seven, not 17. You don't have a job. You don't pay no bills, grandson. I need just a separate. And I'm, I am already feel it coming off because there's so many of them. I'm going to have to redo some more money. And just have a grandkid birthday fund because they're coming back to back. Now his birthday's tomorrow, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get the gift today because they're doing this whole hotel situation like they did for Charlie, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and deliver my gift today, okay? Give my gift today. Hopefully, Target has what it is that's on this list or whatever so that's where we're going now and um so it's not about my retail therapy today it's about grandson's retail therapy today okay and all the things that's on this freaking list i'm not getting everything on the list i'm picking one thing and that is it that is all and of course you know his siblings now, I'm the type of person, I feel so bad when, because the kids don't understand that their brother or sister's birthday is today, is their special day. They're looking with their hand out like, you know, where's my gift? So, here's the plan on that. This this, this how you do that as a grandma, right? When you, got, when you got multiples like I do, like a whole football team, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get him his main gift, right? And then I'm going to dip around the corner and I'm going to get two tiny little inexpensive gifts to put in a little bag to make the other two feel special. Even though, um, okay, y'all going to cross. What y'all going to do, honey? Okay, okay. All these um, curbside uh, pickup signs, I think it's really ridiculous. Pick up here, pick up there. Of course, the handicap, I understand that. But all these curbside pickup, ain't nobody doing that no more. Everybody is going in the store, masked up, getting what they need, and getting on out of Dodge. Okay? That's what they're doing. Ain't nobody doing no more curbside pickup. They're going in to get it, to get what they want. Y'all see my new mask? Okay, first can I put the mask on? Okay, um, can you see my new mask? I am in all colors, by the way. Green, this color here. Okay. Let's, and, let, and speaking of Target, y'all, Target, let me tell y'all something. Target is about to take over my home goods. Now, they don't have all, all the great stuff, home goods. The uniqueness, but Target, bruh, Target doing, Target is doing the damn thing for real. I ain't gonna go in that section because I'm in for the grandson, but um, 
Yeah, let's go in Target, y'all, and do a little retail therapy. Okay, so I'm back out of Target, and as a grandma would, okay, I got everything off the list. It's like Christmas all over again. These kids eat Christmas literally all over again. Not only that, but I couldn't leave Squish out, so I had to get him a little something. I had to get Kai a little something. Now I got them one little thing just so that they, you know, will be in their feelings and everything because grandson literally got everything that was on the list. Am I a crazy lady or no? Yeah, I am. About those grandbabies anyway. So, I'm on my way now to drop them off. Um to them and then I have to go back home because I gotta still work on that printer that I cannot for the life of me get hooked up so I'm gonna have to call the tech support number people and see if they can walk me through it it's supposed to be a one two three easy peasy breezy oh no 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 Y'all know that's not my lane, so Sharon needs help. So I'm going to go and call the 1-800 number when I get back because I got to print y'all labels for all the packages you guys have ordered. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all again so very much. I want to always thank y'all for that support. Um, it means the world to me, and it gives me, I told you, something to do. I feel so important when I am working my little job. Okay, so thank y'all so much, but I need to print those labels out. I'm not trying to handwrite nothing. So, we're going to get that printer fixed today, no matter what. Um, and then, yeah. So, I'm going to go over to uh, Daughters. They better be home because I'm not driving all the way over here on this other side of the world. If they're not home, I probably should have called first, but... No, no, no. I want to surprise them. So, I will see you guys. Um, and, by the way, I was... I held on. I didn't go over in the home decor section in Target. I stayed in the toy department. And found what I was looking for. And I got out of Dodge. Aren't you proud? Aren't you proud? Okay? That sis didn't go over there looking for something that she probably didn't need. But, probably would have got... So, I'm proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next clip. Somewhere, I guess. Happy birthday, baby boy. What that say at the bottom? Read that over there in the corner. That very bottom part over there. Read that part. You can't leave that out. Mighty turkey. Who that is? Who is the mighty turkey? Me. Look at that. Get over there and let me see what you got. Let me see what you got over there, birthday boy. Let me see. What is that? What is it? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Beyblade. It's a Beyblade. Look over here. Who else got something? What in the world is all of that stuff? What is it? Oh my goodness. Look at all the stuff he got for his birthday. Look at there. Him is about to be eight years old. Grandma got a card that says seven. Because technically today he is seven. You done passed out. Lord, the boy done passed out. Somebody throw some water on his face. He done passed out in here. He, he laid out. It's too much. It's too much. 
What'd you get, mama? Daddy, daddy, daddy. Oh, 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 you so welcome. Oh, my God, you so welcome, baby. It's okay, don't make me cry, please. Please, I'm emotional, don't do it. What'd you get, mama? What is that? LOL. Do you like LOL? Yeah. You do? Do you like it? Oh, my, look at that, LOL stuff. Look at here, look at here. Oh my word. Oh, somebody is going in. Look at there. I don't even know what that stuff is. I had to stop a mama who had kids and say, ma'am, what is Beyblade? She said, let, let me show you. I'm into it too, come on, let me show you. I said, okay, I'm confused. The grandma don't know nothing about nothing. Cheesy bees, you got on your bonnet, girl. You better get somewhere and get that hair in order, girl. Yes, Lord, honey, you better do it. Somebody got a surprise for their birthday tomorrow. Somebody trying to rip through something. They need help down here, honey. They, oh, my God. Okay, what in the world? This is my firstborn grandson, by the way, y'all. I don't know if I ever told y'all this story or not, but I used to call him the Mighty Turkey. Now, his father... Went to the military before he was born, correct? Was he born yet? No, yeah. He had just been born, so he left like 30 days after, right? So I basically helped mama over there raise him. He was the mighty turkey. I was still living in this house. They were in the guest bedroom, and this is my firstborn grandbaby who has my heart. And so always, because he's the first. I love him so much. I wish how hard. Look at him, he's so big. Oh, oh well, hey, hey, what is what is going on here? That thing just shot all the way down. You like your stuff, Mama? Yeah. Look at Kylie. Oh, and it's so little. This stuff is so little. Girl, you step on that stuff, you're going down to your kneecap. You're going down to the knees, okay? Oh my, okay. So I'm so are you are you happy with your stuff? Are you happy, grandson, with your things? Did I do good? Let's see if we can knock this down. Look. Oh my god. Yes. Are you happy with yours, mama? Yeah. You're welcome, baby. You, oh my god, that thing shoot like a dag on something serious. That'll hurt somebody. That'll hurt somebody. Oh, the sun is horrible right now, ain't it? Let me see this. Is it your face or? No, it's the sun. Let me see. Yep, yep, it's the sun. The sun is right behind me. We'll, we'll move in a second. Anyway, I just left from Best Buy. I had to take the other printer back because even um, the tech people could not help me get that thing hooked up. So, I have another one back here. Okay, another printer. That's still an HP um, printer. And he assured me that it's going to be a whole lot easier to hook this one up. And it's going to work and print you guys' labels. Because <laughs> I got a ton of them to print. Um, so we're going to go home and try to hook this one up. Fingers crossed. It hooks up with no problem. And I can get to printing labels. Can I just print the labels, y'all? I just want to mail you y'all stuff. That's all I want to do. I want to mail y'all stuff to let you know how much I love y'all. You know, that's it. That's all. So here I am with another printer. This one looks a lot more simple than that big one that I had that looked like I ran a warehouse. Okay? Even though it was on sale for $99. Okay? It was it was a big one. It was $99. Bucks, so if you can get it to work and you need a printer, go to Best Buy. I got a thinner one. Um, and it's white as well, so it goes with my aesthetic in the office. So hopefully it will, it's a three and one, two. So hopefully it'll print my labels for you guys and do what it needs to do. Okay? Okay. That's what I hope. Okay? Um, so I'm going to go home and do that and probably be working on that. Lord knows how long because I don't know how to do none of this stuff, but. We're going to figure it out today, okay? 
Starbucks coffee, iced coffee. Ice is melted now though. And they made it perfect just for me. Perfect. I got the perfect recipe. You know, I, I don't care for Starbucks, but iced coffee I will do. And I put the right recipe in it. So I'm pleased. And it's almost gone. The sun is going down now. Um, it's okay. What y'all got going on over here? Everybody getting in lanes with no signals. What's what what? What is the problem? Y'all don't want to ride behind the big truck. Okay, I get it, but you still can use your signal. No. So family, how are you guys? Oh, the sun again. It's back over here in my eyeball. How are you guys doing? Is everybody okay mentally? Are you, is your mental okay with everything that's going on here in the world and you know we have to do mental check-ins okay some of y'all think i'm mentally disturbed and i probably am and i'm totally fine with that i can admit mine you know what i mean it's though it's those of you who are in hiding of your true self you need to free yourself, family, and be true to who you are. If you got a little cray, a lot of cray, you're going through some mental health issues, say that. Reach out for help from someone because that can be a very lonely place to be. And there's nothing like feeling like you are alone in this world, which is a lot of times while I come, while I come on here and I try and keep you company. But I do want your mental health to be in good standing. And that's not always the case, okay? It's not always the case. Sometimes we, we go through. And for various reasons we go through. And the last year and the beginning of this year and everything else that has happened hasn't made it any better. So a lot of us are going through. Excuse me. We're going through, okay? Get you a support system. You can email me if you want to. My email is always down below underneath my Etsy shop. Okay. Um, you can email me. We can talk through email if you like. Um, because I am truly concerned about your mental well-being. You know, I want you to be healthy. And it's a lot going on. And it can throw you off your norm. Because nothing that we knew as normal is normal anymore. It's just not. Perfect example, the whole to debacle that just went on here on the channel on our dysfunctional family. Okay. A lot of you guys email me, tons of emails. Email me half, it was half and half. Half was Sharon. I felt like the second video you were on point. You need to let people know they can't always be so opinionated but you can because i am on this platform giving my life so i'm not going to take away your opinion or how you feel never will i do that will i clap back if i feel like i need to yeah i, I will i definitely will so it was half and half half says sharon i just think the people were really concerned about you and they didn't mean any harm and i totally got that as well I also, in that video, I made a, made it plain and simple that there were a lot of people that come under the comments. And if you pay attention to some of the comments, you will see some of the same people saying ruthless stuff out of their mouth for no reason. It could be m one of the most positive videos possible, possible, and they will still come out of their mouth foul okay yes i'm on a platform yes people are gonna have their opinions yes people are going through and yes hurt people hurt other people we've already established that right i could easily ignore it move on from it okay but just like you i'm human and if i'm going through something you clap at me i clap back hey we still can be family or not However you want to do it, I still I'm still gonna love you regardless. Whether you unsubscribe to the channel, move on, feel like I'm not the person for you, or whatever the case is, that's totally fine. I read two comments today on the video. Two comments, and this this, this just goes to show you 
that being a YouTuber, and I said this, you do need to have thick skin as a YouTuber. You have to have thick skin, right? I have thick skin, but will I clap back? Absolutely, I will. Thick skin or no thick skin, I will. If I feel like I need to. I read two comments. Number one said, I can see why Monte left her, right? Let me be clear on that. Monte didn't leave me, okay? I left Monte ass because Monte and I were in two different places. Everybody can't go where you're going. In your life, my life, their life, anybody's life. When you outgrow a person, okay, they can't come. You, it's sometimes it is okay to leave a person where they are. So Monte did not leave me. Let's be real clear about that. Then someone said, I can see why Dimples left her. What? Dimples left me? No, 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 no. First of all, Dimples and I are still like this. We still see each other. We still hang out. That just goes to show you. When I show you something here on this channel, I show you what I want you to see. I don't do a whole lot of hell of a lot of editing. I don't take a lot of mistakes out. I let you guys see me fall over the dang tripod and the stool that I was sitting on and put it in the video as a blooper. I'm not one of those YouTubers who's cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and, and trying to make it look like a movie. This is my real life that I share with you guys. I share it all. And what I don't want to share, I don't. You know what I mean? But it just goes to show you how people will speculate, make up stuff that they don't know the answers to. They get mad when I won't share what they want me to share. And then they say stuff like that. That's why Monte left her. That's why Dimples left her. Sis, 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 let me tell you something, okay? I'm going to tell you something, sis. Brother YouTube, I'm going to tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I am probably one of the most, and this is no bragging, this ain't to no own horn by any means. I am one of the, one of the many people, because not just me, it's other people. I have one of the biggest giving, loving hearts you will ever meet in a person okay however if you cross me or i feel some type of way because i'm human and i go through stuff will i snap yep i most certainly will and a lot of you guys are not used to that because i am and always will be a very positive person don't get me wrong you cross me in the wrong way at the wrong time, I'm going to clap back. Everything doesn't deserve a clap back. I've ignored many of you guys, many of you guys, because I know I'm on this platform and I'm sharing my life with you. Hey, so you are definitely entitled to your opinion, okay? And it's not so much of what you say, a lot of times, it's how it's said, even through texting on the computer. It's what you say and how you say it and how I receive it because I'm a good reader of energy and of people. Just know I'm a good person. I'm a, I'm a good person. I love hard. When I love you, I love you, and I mean that from the depths of my soul. So when you see me spaz out, or when you see me come on here because I suffer from anxiety and I'm on my medication or if, I, if I'm smoking weed or whatever the case is that I ain't ever going to stop. It helps me to keep me mellow and keep Char at bay. Okay. When you see that other side of me, don't articulate that to mean that the side that you fell in love with does not exist. It's just that I'm a human being. And that's just what it is, just like you are. I love you just the same. Whether you unsubscribe to my channel, you no longer like me, you have an opinion about me, you whatever the case is, whatever the case is, just know I'm the type of person regardless, whether I clap back, no matter what, I still love you when I turn that camera off, okay? That's real talk, okay? So for those of you that felt like I went over the top, with my last video, which I personally don't feel like I did, but 
because I love you guys and because you come on here and give me your time and allow me to give you my time, I will be the bigger woman and say, I apologize. If I offended any one of you in what I said that were truly concerned about me in the previous video, okay, I'm big enough a woman to say, I sincerely, sincerely apologize to any one of you that I offended when I went off. From my heart, the depths of my heart, I mean that, okay? Again, thank you guys for supporting the store. I got so many orders up there I got to feel, you guys. I love you guys for that. I love you guys for tuning in to my cray for following my story, for loving me the way you do, for allowing me to love you the way I do, for cons being concerned about me, regardless of how I take it. Again, from the depths of my soul, if I offended you with the last video, I apologize from the depths of my soul. You have met one of the greatest, most loving people you're going to find here on YouTube. I'm going to always keep it real. Okay, I ain't going to chop up my video to the point that it looks like a movie set. No, I'm going to give you real life vlogs, real life sharing, good, bad, ugly, and indifferent. That being said, I love you to the moon and back. Give me some kisses. Mwah. This lady walking this dog looking at me like, who the hell is she talking to? Give me a kiss. Mwah. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, beautiful family.